The ton of line being brought to my attention happened to be a perfect, perfect fit for a Triumph dealer. And you talk about the bikes, but then you turn somebody around to the, uh, the apparel, they're seeing all the Triumph gear, helmets and all that, and then somebody goes, you have ton up in your store? Where did that come from? And I get a big uh, excitement about that because it's like a hidden gem in my store that, you know, again, another piece of the history is now in my store. The uh, old school vibe that the Ton Up gear gives us is definitely uh, an attention getter in a store. People know most of the time what Ton Up means because a lot of our customers come in again, know the history of what Ton Up means. And when they see it physically in the store, it re, uh, reminds them of some great times for them, especially some of our older crowd. But those that don't know it, gives another opportunity to talk to a customer and say, this is what it's about. And now you get to talk about it and here's the t-shirt for hearing the story type of uh, vibe. The quality of the shirt is really what captured my attention next. Uh, the Ton Up logo, of course, immediately was my first of falling in love with the product. But uh, when I had the opportunity to take it out of the plastic, feel it for the first time, the material is one that like when my customers come in and want to touch them, the first thing that they always say is how great the material feels. Then they start looking at the stitching. I have those customers are very particular about if they're going to spend a certain amount of money on something, they want to know it's good quality. So when they're checking the stitching, how it feels, the customers when I'm talking to them, uh, it's kind of nice because there's a lot of key points that I can uh, put on the shirt. Most of them are about the quality, so they're always going to check out the stitching, they're going to get the feel of the material and whatnot, which is there. That's the nice part about these shirts. But just the attention to detail, they've got an outside British flag tag on the very bottom of it. I've actually taken where I have them set up in my store to point out, which catches a lot of their attention because it's the only shirts in the store that are reversed. And uh, so everybody goes right away like, why are these different? But uh, when they start again pulling them out, they enjoy the graphics. Um, the graphics are what I feel hit dead on for the look, not just the wording. Ton Up is its history, but to see that vintage vibe going with it, uh, some of the graphics look distressed. All of that are attention getters. And most of the shirts that I've ever sold in my store are the ones that look like they've come from the era, straight out of the era through a time capsule. On the aspect of business, what it does for me on a, a cost-effective uh, side of it is that it definitely gives enough room for profit on it. Uh, but it also gives us enough leeway that if I want to involve the Ton Up gear in holiday specials, did a promo with them on Father's Day, not to mention the um, POS stuff that I get to use for my online, my e-blasts, my Facebook, uh, Instagram, anything that I can go on to uh, worldwide, uh, my other dealerships get to see what we're doing with them. And now they're starting to question, hey, what is that? And are you making any money off of it? And I can look them dead in the face and say, yep. They do have a buyback guarantee. So if I haven't been able to move it for whatever reason, uh, or the season has changed, uh, literally about a year after I have it, they'll start coming to me and asking me, did you have any problems with the gear? Uh, was there any um, non-movement? And they're willing to work with you to make sure that you have fresh, uh, current uh, items on the racks that you can offer and um, not be stuck per se, with something that didn't do as well. I'm fortunate that if something doesn't do well, I don't want the money back. I want to replenish it with something that did move. Well, having a ton up as an offering in my dealership um, immediately had huge success. Um, it, we were obviously the first uh, store to try it out at a single Triumph dealership level, flagship store level, and it immediately started capturing everybody's attention. A lot of times I have been able to use that as a, a resource to make a sale. It's those types of things that make us stand out. 
Uh, I always talk about how I go to an event and the first thing I can see somebody wearing is something that's not of another brand immediately. I always see that old school vintage shirt that just doesn't want to go away. Everybody wants that old, you know, concert t-shirt or an old rock and roll t-shirt. But when you can get that old motorcycle t-shirt, everybody notices that. I am recommending all of the Triumph dealerships at this point to bring in that gear. If it is a Triumph only, that ton up is perfect for your store. If it is a multi-brand dealership, check out what they have. A lot of those uh, designs and graphics fit so many of the different styles of bikes out there. Having the ton up gear, um, again, is a constant reminder. Sometimes just to break the monotony, somebody walks in and you do the same thing over and over again and you turn your head for a split second and you see that British flag, you see that ton up on there, you remember why you do it.